Today's video is going to be something different and fun. I built the ultimate Nintendo Switch setup with quite a few things have been sent for review and some that I picked up myself and one of them that I'm giving away internationally. So stay tuned for details on that. I waited a long time to pick up a Nintendo Switch. I had major issues with how the company treated content creators and I wanted to hold out as long as I could in case it got cheaper or a cool game themed version was released. But ultimately, Pokemon pulled me back in, as always. And Nintendo killed off their awful content creator program, which certainly helped me on the principal sense. So let's see what the ultimate setup here holds in store. It's actually quite simple, but packs a big punch for functionality. The Switch dock itself sits on the back of this charging dock and game stand from HeatFun that I picked up on Amazon. You can charge four Pro Controllers, two Joy-Cons, and the Japanese version of the online NES controllers for some reason holds two Pokeballs and has slots on the sides to hold two more controllers. And it can store games in it too. My only complaint is that the Switch has to sit on the back of the stand, which makes swapping games a little bit difficult. My Joy-Cons feature some grips that I also grabbed from Amazon when I bought my switch as I hate how the thumbsticks feel on these things. This whole part is kind of the hub that I'm working from. From there, I have the GameSir VX aim switch connected. This is a wireless uh, keypad and mouse de device designed to let you get the upper hand in battle royale games on console. I'm bad enough at Fortnite in general that if I'm going to play, it's going to be with a mouse and keyboard and I need it. The keypad charges via micro USB and connects to the wireless dongle and the mouse is wired and connects to the keypad. This thing has a 32 foot ish range TTC red key switches and the mouse is all right. Nothing amazing, but it gets the job done. The kit comes in at $100 MSRP, which might be a tad expensive for some, but you can move it between PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and PC. So there's lots of value if you're just looking for like one kit to use with everything. I also have our giveaway item hooked up next. This is the Creative Sound Blaster X G6 gaming DAC and USB sound card. I've previously used the G5 quite a bit in various setups where I needed an external sound card, but this works with consoles too. I have it hooked up to the Switch to provide high quality audio from my games and it even has virtual 7.1 surround sound and Creative's Scout Mode audio positioning boosts, if that's your speed. Plus, you get a 4-pole headset input and a separate mic input in case you're using separate headphone or microphone, you know, depending on how your microphone cables are run, so you can keep chatting and trash talking. I've partnered with Creative to give away one of these bad boys to you all. This will be an international giveaway, not something I get to do very often. To enter, there will be a gleam.io link in the video description. Go there and enter your name and email address. You don't have to do anything else or even be subscribed to the channel, though that's always appreciated. YouTube is being a little weird recently about giveaways, so just taking your name and email seems to be the best way to go for now and your email will it's necessary for me to pass along to creative for them to contact you and get your shipping information sorted out and things like that. And that's it. If you win, make sure you send me a pic of it in your setup so I can see how you're putting it to use. A sound card is no good without audio listening hardware, of course. For this, we have the Odyssey Mobius, a premium gaming headset with a lot of technology packed in, like a lot. <laughs> It supports full Bluetooth 4.2, AAC, Sony's LDAC encoding for high-res audio over Bluetooth, there's Waves NX virtual surround sound functionality built in, and even 3D head tracking to keep sound positioning accurate based on your head's position. I will say, for the style of headphones that this is, the sound stage is very impressive and surprisingly wide, and the positioning is actually pretty fantastic, if not a little confusing when you're listening to music and looking between multiple monitors. I'm usually not a fan of virtual surround sound, but the 3D tracking and virtual surround sound is awesome. There's the usual electric presence hiss uh, of the wireless headphones just when they're active and powered on, when no audio is coming through. Some of that will be talkback from the mic as well, uh, but it's not noticeable at all when audio is playing, so not a big deal overall, and it's usually a common problem with wireless headphones. It's closed back so you can ignore the world around you and just get immersed in your game or music or what have you. It's fairly comfy and even fits on my giant noggin, which is actually a problem for some wireless headphones. Uh, it works wirelessly with the Xbox and PlayStation. I, I'm using it with the G6 DAC via wired here to get it working with the Switch. The headphones aren't super heavy for being wireless and the cans feature planar magnetic drivers, which are known for providing much more accurate sound imaging in your sound. It's also Discord certified, which 
doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> Obviously, don't mix the DAX uh, virtual surround sound with your headphones virtual surround sound. That will get a little funky, but your options are flexible. Plus, the microphone is supposed to have some real clear processing on it as well, which, well, you're hearing now. For video, we're outputting to the BenQ EX3203R curved gaming monitor. This can serve as double duty for us for Switch via HDMI and PC gameplay via DisplayPort or HDMI. This monitor supports up to 1440p 144Hz, doesn't add a ton of input latency, though it's slower than other monitors I've reviewed and hasn't been noticeable to me, and it avoids the added blurring at high refresh rates that I experienced with the v Viotech monitor I reviewed earlier in the year. This monitor is also rocking FreeSync 2 support. Plus, it does technically support HDR, though at HDR 400 nits, so you're not getting a ton of range out of it, it is an option. My only real complaint is that the VESA mount is sold and shipped separately instead of just supporting it on the monitor's hardware itself. Pretty cool monitor, gives us a nice big screen to play our games. Lastly, the video runs through the Cloner Alliance HDML Cloner Box Pro, a PC-free capture device that lets you record video straight to USB devices instead of having a beefy computer. It even comes with a remote for controlling the inputs and recording and things like that. Full review on this bad boy coming soon. I actually have two from them. And then I have a cheap headphone hanger from Amazon and the FlexiSpot sit-stand desk that I use as my B-roll table just to hold, hold it up. This thing is heavy as hell but high quality with easy control with three presets for height. Doesn't require any crazy calibration whenever you unplug it or plug it back in or anything like that. Also down below the games I have the Flip Grip from Fangamer, a Kickstarter project I backed a while back to let you control your Switch in vertical orientations for shoot 'em up games, shmups. And then of course the Mario Kart themed case for travel because yeah. <laughs> if I had the space and I could move the table through without disassembly, I could go one step further and put this setup in my game room for maximum aesthetic, but I work with what I've got. And there you have it, a pretty baller Switch setup for dominating BR games, enjoying some Pokemon, going pro at bullet hell games, and more. Let me know what you think about the setup in the comment section down below, and make sure you enter our giveaway. Again, international, doesn't really require you to do anything but enter. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe for more tech education, check us out on Patreon, Twitch, Instagram. I'm Abel's Vox, here to make tech easier and more fun, and I'll see you next time.